Hello everyone, this is Sabin Dimitrov coming to you guys with another fun product. So I like to, you know, save up on power banks because, you know, you never know when you're going to be without power for a long time. And I actually got a pretty darn cool uh, little USB. I mean, little, uh, oh, gee, what do you call it, uh, little, uh, power pack. And when I saw this, I'm like, I gotta, gotta, gotta try this. So, uh, um, yeah, this is a really nice box. The box is really good, good quality. Got a little rubber tab to pull out. Tells you all about it. And we zoom in. You can get up to two charges for most phones. 1.8 amp lightning input. And 12 watt high speed USB-A output. Pretty darn cool, huh? It's part of the Silhouette series. It's a, uh, Ubio Labs Power 6000 milliamp portable charger. Pretty darn, pretty darn cool. I got this for very cheap from Ross. And, you know, uh, I, I love Ross. Ross is a fantastic store. It's a great place to go. You know, in all honesty, even though it's a power bank, it's still, you can, I mean, for um, uh, iPhones, you can still use it for Android. But yeah, I mean, I thought it, it was really, really cool. So I really wanted to, you know, try it out. So anyway, uh, it has a lightning input and USB-A output. And luckily for me, I actually have lightning cord. Lightning cords. So, even though this thing uses regular, uses kind of a stupid lightning port, luckily for me, I actually have lightning cords. Even though I'm mainly an Android user. But it's always good to have something extra just in the off chance. Right now, my phone... No, right now my tablet is currently using a what a a three thing, a uh, three in one. We have uh, lightning, we have uh, USB C, and we have USB micro. I think USB A is kind of a big, fat, chunky, oversized uh, micro USB one. But yeah, this one's supposed to have LED indicators and screen. Which is actually pretty darn cool. You can get up to two charges or up to 20 extra hours of battery life, which is pretty darn nice. Premium finishes, compact design, kind of, you know, to make it look a little bit extra snazzy. You know, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I actually it looks pretty epic. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's very nice and sleek. You can see that it, that it looks nice and epic. I'm gonna zoom out. And now, Watch the unboxing. You know, as much as I don't like Apple, their products, which are, you know, not, you know, like phone, like, not like actual phones, are actually pretty darn good. Like, this is solid box construction. That's thick. That's solid. So even though I am not an Apple fan, they do have fantastic packaging, and they actually have pretty darn good, you know, uh, products when it comes to actual chargers and certain things like that. Like, um, I, if you know what to look for, Apple products are usually better when it comes to certain accessories. You know, charger, uh, charger battery cords, um, not cords, uh, charger freaking power battery packs and this this little thing here is a uh is actually a holder for a um a watch series the uh the iWatch that uh freaking Apple Watch you know it doesn't fit like 100% in there for the fossil but it still serves the same purpose here is my fossil. It's currently 0128. And we just uh, shove that bad boy in there. There we go. I can do that one hand too. Not too shabby. There we go. So even though this is a an Apple product, it does beautiful for my for my uh, uh, my fossil. So 
if you know what to look for and you know what accessories fit, Apple makes some absolutely fantastic products which when it comes to accessories. Like I said, I won't ever re I won't ever use a, an Apple phone or an Apple computer, but their accessories and other such things are actually pretty darn nice. So I will give them, you know, props on first of all, beautiful packaging. Like this is solid packaging. I will give Apple uh props for, you know, um a nice and simple design, making the box look nice and snazzy. And you know, this actually looks really, really cool. Now, I would have picked a different color, but this one was the only one that was available. And, you know, I figured, why not try it out? Wow. They, that is, that's really packed in there. I don't want to hurt the box. I'm going to plop this against my fat belly. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at this. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Wait. This goes over it. Then why is there, like, a little hidden compartment here? Is this supposed to, like, hold something else? I think that this thing was originally supposed to come with a charger. Something tells me this was supposed to come with a charger. Yeah. Mm, Mojo came with the charger. Hmm. Wait, wait, what, what do these say? Power bank, power bank. Hmm. Charging. Okay, let's t t take a quick look at this, my friends. This is a uh, charging, the charging light. We're here to help, so you know if um, so here is the uh, the information. So in case you have one of their products and it doesn't work out, it's uh, www.ubiolabs.com, or you can go to support um, support at ubiolabs.com. And their telephone number is one eight six 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 four two four four two eight. But yeah, you know, so Monday through Friday, nine a.m. to four thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that way, you know, if if you guys ever have one of their products and it seems to not be doing this what it's supposed to be doing, well then you can just uh, you know, get that taken care of. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with like pretty much to only two hands. I don't this is a very unprofessional setup, but I don't really care at this point. But yeah, so it, it shows that you can char you can uh charge this bad boy. It's a very fast charger. And it actually looks pretty darn nice. Am I holding this thing upside down? My apologies guys. This is kind of a strange no, it's supposed to be, be that way. That's really weird. My apologies, guys. This is... Oh, it's, it's a double-sided thing. Ugh, this makes my brain hurt. Oh, okay, so here we are. So this is a portable charger, 6,000 milliamps, like as we said. Quick start, it's a quick start guide. Before first use, connect your power bank using a lightning cable into a wall charger on your phone. The battery indication lights will light up and you are ready to go. So you kind of just have to like jump start this bad boy. Yeah, so it says you uh, charge that into that thing. Then you can uh, get that all taken care of. Then you can put it, put it into your phone. And then you guys have a little USB-A. And it's actually really nice and simple. So they are telling us. That you first have to have to plug that bad boy into the wall just to get that system back up and running. And this is this little charger port that comes out with it. Uh, you know what? Let's just take a really nice look at this bad boy. Look, just look at this. This is a really nice color. I think this is rose gold, if I remember right. If that, if that's the right term, it's very very pretty. 
super shiny. Like, this camera doesn't do it justice just because, you know, it's uh, a camera. But if you guys saw what, what this looks like, you know, in real life, this is a really beautiful and sleek, just beautiful design. Like, this is really, really nice. Oh, and it has a little cover on it. Let me see if my fat fingers can figure this out. Aha. Ooh. Satisfying moment. Ooh. This is fun. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's not a nice little ring of plastic. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Get, 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 get out of here. Meh. Okay. So, yeah. like This is what it looks like. like this is a really... Really, really nice, nice piece of electronics. And as as you guys can see, here is like all the information: power bank, model PWB1072F. Just in case you guys want to take a look at this bad boy, uh, the BN the B slash N is one two zero one one nine PYS. That's a cell capacity of 6,000 milliamps, 3.7 volt, 22.2 uh, watt hours. Input lightning, 9 volt equals 1.8 amps. Output is USB A, 5 volt equals 2.4 amp, 3,500 milliamp hours. And then designed in Seattle. Ooh, they have a Seattle location. That's pretty darn nice. Made in China. Caution, risk of fire and burns. Do not open, crush, heat above 45 degrees Celsius, or incinerate. Follow manufacturer's instructions for more information. But yeah, the output and the input. And look at that, they even have it labeled for you. You know, for the people that, you know, uh, need warning labels, you know? Ha ha ha. But in all honesty, this is actually a really beautiful, really beautiful product. Like... This is rose gold. You know, I don't really care for rose gold, but this is a really nice color. So in all honesty, I'm very happy I bought this. It's so pretty. Although I don't see any buttons to turn it on. Which is so odd. So I think you just, you know, plug that in. So give me two seconds, guys. Give me just, you know, two seconds. I'm gonna put this little book away. Uh, oh gosh, this this thing is so much words. I'm not gonna put you guys through that because that's that's just stupid. That's just too much. But that you know, this is a really nice box. Anyway, what we're gonna do is just shove this bad boy in there. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that. Listen. That is a very well-made box. I will definitely have to handle it and I have to hand it to Apple. They actually have a really nice box. They, this is a really beautiful product. This is really, really pretty. Ooh, there you go, see? Look at that. Looks exactly like, like it does in the and um, does in the box. Although the box doesn't really give full, you know, props, uh, representation to the beautiful rose gold, you know, metal band. Like, this is actually solid construction. This is really solid construction. I'm very happy with this purchase. You know, and, you know, if you guys could go to Ross, which is a beautiful, beautiful store, you can get some really nice stuff from there. And, you know, I got this from, you know, I got this beautiful little thing from here. See? And it actually matches my little, uh, my, my little charger. So that's actually really kind of cool. Hmm. So it's a shame that, you know, good products like these, you know, are not wanted by people. But, you know, uh, apparently people, this is actually really, really nice. So what we're going, what we are going to be doing, that we're going to be plugging this bad boy in. Excuse me, you need to freaking get back here. That's right. So what I'm going to do is make this easier for myself. And not be the guy that needs a warning label. My ADHD kind of 
runs away with me sometimes, so my apologies, guys. Give me two seconds. Gonna prop my little phone up here. I said, gonna freaking prop my phone up. Gonna try to freaking prop my phone up. Give me a second. Freaking pop my phone up. Oh boy, it's making it difficult. Gonna freaking prep my phone up. Nope. Prep my phone up. Oh, this is a fail and a half. I apologize, guys. I'm usually better at this. You know what? You know what I need to do. I need to do do by myself one of those one of those little uh, phone stands so I can actually do stuff. Okay. Okay, I got it. So then, I suppose put that bad boy in. Oh, maybe I have it on the wrong side. I don't know. Like I said, I don't usually use Apple chargers. Oh, we got it. Oh, give me a second. Let me turn off the turn. Let me turn this off. Look at that! Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this sleek design. You know, I will have to hand will have to hand it to Apple. They have some very sleek products. Look at that! Like that is smooth. That is a very beautiful product. It's a nice gentle display that's not right in your eyes and blaring. It tells you that it's charging, which is absolutely just beautiful. This is a really nice little product. And you know what, what we're going to do? We are going to test this bad boy out. Um, all right. There we go. So this is ready to go. I'm gonna pull this bad boy out. Look at that. And you're gonna plug this bad boy in. I said we're gonna plug this bad boy in. I said we're gonna play be plugging this bad boy in. There we go. Ooh, look at that! It senses it senses the things inside of it. Are you gonna charge? Are you charging? Says it's charging. You charging? Are you charging? Okay, hold on a second, guys. My apologies. So it is charging. So when you, when you unplug it, it doesn't do anything. And then when you plug the bad boy back in, There we go. Look at that. That's actually really nice. Look at this beautiful little product. You guys have to admit, this is a very beautiful product. So all in all, I would definitely rate this 10 out of 10. A beautiful, nice sheen. A very beautiful um, rose gold exterior. A wonderful display and indicator. That's really, really nice. Come on. Oh, look at that. They even have a little percent symbol. Wow. You know, outside of their phones and computers, Apple has some really good accessories. So if you guys want to, you know, still have a little bit of class, but, you know, use, uh, you know, uh, um accessories from Apple to give yourself a little bit more of a so sophisticated you know look get yourself one of these multi cords that has USB um, micro the the lightning and the USB C and then get yourself one of these little chargers so that way you will always have something that can charge back in to this thing you see because this is a, a lightning cord this is a lightning cord input so this one doesn't charge regularly so you always want to have yourself that you know triple cord that has you know the USB-C the USB-A well with micro USB I mean and then the the, the, the lightning because uh, um, 
you won't be able to charge this with a regular micro USB or USB-C. But yeah, you know, this is just kind of my product review. Like this is a very, very beautiful, beautiful um, charger. It's nice, it's compact, it's solid. And compared to all my other little chargers here, these are all Android chargers. I got this little one right here. Yeah, it has a little flashlight on it. I got this one from China. But yeah, it has it has a little little, little LCD display. But this one's really freaking bright. And if I hold it down, we can turn the screen off. But yeah, as you can tell, nice, simple, but as you can see, cheap plastic, solid material. This one was kind of eh, but I, I like it though. You know, it's a nice solid charger. Charges all right. You know, has it has its little flashlight. Then we have this little one. There we go. Now this. Sorry about that. This is a huge one. This is kind of made out of similar material to this one, but not not a sheen worthy. Is this one has a sheen? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay. This thing's made maybe out of like three different types of material. A nice solid, you know, sheen glass finish on finish on the front. Metal on the side, plastic on the back. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, you know, I, I got this one because it's a big old, big old block of energy. You see, this one is a. Uh, this one has. Ooh, come on, camera, focus. Wow, my camera's not happy. Oh, that probably explains it. There we go. Ooh, that is nasty. Yeah, so this one's supposed to be 50,000 milliamps, but in all honesty, uh, when you get weird products like this from China, I wouldn't say that they follow through on that, unfortunately. China's kind of weird with this stuff. I mean, they make some good products, but you gotta be careful where you get them from. This one here has a lot of milliamps. If I re if I remember right, this one's like oh here we are. Yeah, this one's twelve thousand five hundred milliamps. And then got yeah, this little one right here. This one has kind of a weird rubberized cover to it. This one is twenty thousand. Like I said, these bad boys are all charged up. Now here's the thing, when you guys have your little um, your little things here, um, what happens is that uh, over time they slowly discharge a little. So you always want to like you know do the occasional like um, like every three months just charge these bad boys up. This is the the one the one I, I got a little, little while back, guys. You know the one I did my previous video on, kind of that weird one. But yeah, you know these guys are kind of cousins. See. Nice and shiny. But yeah, this one's a really nice one because it charges uh, with uh, solar energy. So it's actually really, really effective. So it's actually a, a very nice one. And as you can see, a nice little, nice little display indicator. And then we got this one, which I've had for quite a while. And this one doesn't really tell you how much it was, but I think this one was about 10,000 milliamp, if not 13,000. But yeah, that one's kind of more of a... You know, it's just another, another nice solid one. The little button you can turn it on and turn it off. Uh, but yeah, this little uh, solar charger one I have is twenty-four thousand. And then this little one, it actually looks like a battery. It actually has kind of that like pillow design. This little one, this little bad boy. This one has ten thousand milliamps. <laughs> look at all the look at look at all my little chargers. Look at look at all these little guys. So many. And there we go. And I got these ones. This one's this one's an older one. 
it, uh, unfortunately, over time, these things don't, don't have trouble getting those things charging well. So I might have to get the, the ports replaced on it. But this one's 8,000 milliamps. You know, uh, has has like, like you know display lights, all that. And then last but not least, this big boy. This one, I think, this one I think was freaking like 9,000, but eh. I don't know. I've had this one for a while. It's kind of falling apart, sadly. Then, of course, I have another one in my backpack, which is a solid, you know, which is another one like this. But it has rubber on the edges of it because it's supposed to be heavy duty and it has a little flashlight. So give me two seconds. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back and we got this one. This one's also a pretty nice one. And apparently it charges via phone light that's actually kind of cool but yeah you know this is my uh my um another um battery charger i got i got this one uh from uh i think staples they were having a special sale on these this bad boy is ten thousand milliamps so you see uh no normal person needs just this stupid amount of chargers but you know, if you want, want to have yourself a little collection, why why not, you know? But yeah, you know, so this uh, is a really nice little charger. You know, goes along along with these bad boys. Look at all these bad boys. Yeah, yeah, right. But I must say... The prettiest one by far is this one. Like, it's just so sleek and pretty. Like, this is, like, a very nice one that I would definitely want to take to a nicer area with me because I would never want this one to get scratched up. But all these other ones are a lot more rugged, you know. Some of them are cheap. Some of them are more expensive. Uh, this one's a cheaper one. This is a cheaper one. This one's more expensive. This one was very expensive, like $100. Like, it was stupid amount. And then this one is like a solid brick, solid brick, solid brick, weird piddle one, super nice, beautiful glass fi finish. And then, last but not least, uh, where is it? Ah. Then we, of course, we have these tiny little guys. And these tiny little ones are really nice because they're small, they're easy to pack, and, you know, they have a lot of good stuff. 4,000 milliamp, you know, nice and simple. And, you know, that's uh, 4,000 milliamp. We got this little, this, this bad boy right here. This one is about, uh, hmm, 52, it's 5,200 milliamp. Not too shabby. And, we got inside this one, this little guy. Super small, super tiny, so small. Super, super tiny. But yeah, this one's like, what, like 3,000? Nice and simple. They actually work very well. I keep at least two chargers on me at all times. And I have uh, another one of that, uh, um, of that, you know, times three, you know, uh, charger cords. And then and, and right here, I have a little car charger as well. You see, you always want to be prepared because a cell phone can save your life. A charger can save your life. A core can save your life. You always want to try to be as prepared as possible. Holy crap, this video is 26 minutes. Wow. My apologies for making the video uh, go on so long, guys. But, yeah, like I said, you know, the original purpose of this video was to give a nice um, and proper... Um, a uh, nice and proper shout out to Apple for making a very nice charger. Oh, look at that. Even has kind of like a rainbow effect on it, too. You see, Apple makes amazing accessories. Their phones are here. Eh. Their, uh, their computers are here. Eh. My grandma has one and it's like a nightmare to use. But their accessories are absolutely fantastic. And it's very, very pretty. You know, this is a nice solid build. You don't sense anything shaking around in there. It um, it has a very tight grip on the uh, charger cord, so it won't fall out. Very tight grip on the lightning port, so it won't fall out. And it, it charges tablets. Like, 
you know, this is made to like charge tablet. Look at that, you know, my, uh, my tablet started out at like, you know, 23% when I started this and now it's now it's a lot better and you know, it tells you exactly how much you have, 63%. This thing is a solid charger. So, in all honesty, guys, uh if you want, you know, Apple accessories that can still work for Android, just get yourself a, a few of those like, you know, um you know, multi, multi, uh, point, you know, uh, multi, uh, adapter cords, and you can get yourself some pretty darn good stuff. Like, it's actually really quite nice. Like I said, Apple makes these, these cool little watch holders. So my poor little watch is all shoved on the table. And yeah, so all in all, guys, if you want a, a nice charger, Apple makes some pretty darn nice stuff. It's, well, maybe, I don't think this is, like, straight from Apple. But it's supposed to be kind of, you know, for iPhones and crap. Maybe it's not Apple itself. But y you guys get, get, get what I mean. It's, the company today that makes this is, U, uh, is, uh, uh, UBO Labs. So it might be UBO Labs that does this. Um, I don't freaking know. Like I said, uh, I'm still trying to get used to all this, you know, product videos and stuff. But, yeah, I, 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 I give you guys the information. So, hopefully, you guys could, uh, can enjoy a nice product. So, yeah, just, uh, see what's out there. But, yeah, this has been Sabin, woof. This has been Sabin Dimitrov coming to you with, uh, with a cool product. And just thank you guys for watching this horrendously long and broken video. Stay awesome guys, I'll see you on the other side.